Chicos y chicas First stop on this trip was the town of Coralejo, located on the northern side of Fuerteventura. What we love the most about this town is how lively it is. It's full of shops, restaurants, and bars by the ocean, and you can even see Los Lobos Island in the distance. Playa del Coralejo Viejo is a quaint little beach, but all along this side are beaches right next to each other so you don't really have to worry about it being too crowded. This beach had clear blue water like most of the beaches in the Fuerteventura. Just a short drive away from the main center of Coralejo is one of the most beautiful beaches that you think would only exist in the Caribbean or in the tropical islands of Hawaii. Playa del Moro is great for beginner surfers due to the smaller waves that land on this shore. And you might even see some people taking lessons while you're there. second day here in Fuerteventura but today we're gonna go see another beach that we'll show you guys they have like so so many beaches here that you probably can't cover it in only five days I will just show you guys the best ones that I think are really nice Next stop, we're headed towards the southern portion of Fuerteventura to a region called Handia. This area reminds me much more of a beach town and is popular with tourists as it has Playa del Handia, which has fine white sand, clear waters, and a vast coastline. Another attraction in the region of Handia is Mirador del Salmo, which is a viewpoint with sort of a difficult descent if you are going in a car, so do be careful as the road towards the parking area is not paved. 
However, after a short descent, you are met with, I think, one of the coolest sand dunes in the area because it looks huge from the bottom, but is actually pretty easily climbable. And on top, you see a pretty majestic view of Playa del Salmo, which is the beach down below where many people kite surf as well. Absolutely speechless at this sunset. It's always islands that have the best sunsets. Hi guys, I think it's our third full day here in Fuerte. It's been kind of wild, but yesterday was really pretty as you guys saw. Those sand dunes, the beaches, and yeah. And people say it's not developed here, but it's pretty developed. They have shops like Mango, H&M, Zara, and McDonald's, Burger King. Like, It's not the most developed, but it's pretty comprehensive with the shops and everything. This region on the northwestern tip of Fuerteventura is most famous for its untouched wild beaches that are popular among surfers who come from all over Europe. It is less populated than Handia or Coralejo, but still boasts some of the best nature and landscapes that make Fuerteventura so special. You can still spend a chill day here though at the beach and enjoy calm waters as they have Playa del Cotillo, which is a lagoon with clear turquoise water and fine white sand, a huge contrast from the wild beaches not too far from here. So we're now in Moro Hable and it's way way prettier I think in the in the daytime. We're just gonna walk around the shops a bit and then maybe go to the beach but we were thinking to go hiking. So we're gonna do that and I'll show you guys what's up. Yeah, it's quite hot even though it's only, it's already 4.40 p.m. Yeah, yeah, and they also have a viewing point here which we might go and check out real quick and we already saw like two wild goats. <laughs> If you want something different from the typical fine white sand beaches I've shown you so far, you can go to Playa Ahui. This beach boasts black volcanic sand and also usually a bit bigger and wilder waves. Even with a dark charcoal-like sand, the water under the sunlight is still a sparkling blue, making the landscape a very unique one in this island.
right next to the beach is a small viewpoint where you can also see many mountain goats and chipmunks, which is the wildlife typical of this island. Hey, no fighting! If you want a break from the beaches, you can drive a short distance from Ahoy to this hiking trail, which leads you to one of the most stunning and unique views that you will see on this island. Okay. I don't see a pot over here. I and mean, I see some food too, so... I just follow where people are definitely not there. <laughs> see, see. This place was called Arco de las Pinitas, which is sort of like a nature sculpture. The constant wind that hit the side of the rocks created a huge natural arc. The hike was a bit challenging as you sort of have to find your own way up and there's no clear path. The terrain is rocky, so make sure to wear the proper shoes and bring your own water, as there are no shops nearby. Nobody says it on the reviews, but half of the time you actually have to use both your hands to sort of stabilize yourself when you climb up. And also when you get go down, you have to you have to check which rocks are like stable so that you could step on them. And when you look far out, it's like super steep. So you just have to do it like one step at a time and focus. But if you're like an experienced hiker, it's probably easier for you. Since I don't hike that much, it was quite difficult, probably like 7 out of 10 difficulty. Uh, I think we're gonna go to Coleta de Fuste today and see the beach there because they also have a beach in a small town we haven't seen it before we're gonna walk around <laughs> so i'll see you guys there Caleta de Fusta is a resort town on the mid-eastern coast of the island they have many golf courses as well as a nice cove protected beach which makes the beach ideal for swimming and it also has right next to it a small dock and port Finally, we get to Puerto del Rosario, which is the capital of Fuerteventura. And it has a busy port where you can sometimes see big cruise ships docking. And right next to the dock is probably the most beautiful beach I've ever seen that is located next to a busy port. Grandes Playas de Coralejo is just that, the great beaches of Coralejo. This beach seems to be never ending. The sand is soft and the sea is turquoise with views out to Lobos and Lanzarote. Keep in mind though that sometimes a stronger wind brings in larger waves.
बता देंगे